Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to Biosciences with Shatrin Sawati. And Shatrin Sawati is here with Degenerate Primers as well as Universal Primers. And I have discussed in detail about the PCR primers, their types like forward and reverse primers and many more in my previous lecture. So must watch my first lecture about the PCR primers and also uh, go through my lecture uh, about the primers and primers in DNA replication. Uh, uh, then you will be uh, easily understand each and everything and your concept uh, related to the primers will be clear okay now I'm starting my lecture but before starting my lecture I have a very humble request to all of you if you did not subscribe my channel kindly do subscribe like and share my videos if you're sharing the videos you are sharing the noise so keep watching keep sharing and promoting knowledge okay now in this lecture um, I will uh, discuss about the degenerate primers tips and rules to de uh, to generate degenerate primers and the universal primers so first of all what are degenerate primers but uh, here I am uh, sharing something with you uh, if you are not uh familiar with the degeneracy codon degeneracy so uh, must watch the lecture about the codon degeneracy means the genetic code as well as the verbal hypothesis then each and everything related to the degenerate primer will be clever and you can uh, be able to synthesize your own degenerate primer for your uh, pcr and for your research work okay first of all what are the degenerate these are the mixtures of the primers that are similar but not identical these may be convenient when amplifying the same gene from different organism if you want to amplify the same gene like um, the gene for the collagen uh, in the human in pig in mice in uh, many other organism in some organ it is uh, its sequence is identified but in some area its sequence is not uh, uh, identified so you can use the degenerate primers you uh, in order to know the sequence of that so as the sequence are probably similar but not identical similar but not identical is it clear this technique is useful because the genetic code itself is a degenerate Meaning several co uh, different codons can code for the same amino acid. So must watch my lecture related to the codon degeneracy. I am here not discussing again the codon degeneracy. This allows different organisms to have a significantly different genetic sequences that code for a highly similar protein. Like uh, I am giving you an example that the collagen or many other proteins from the plants and from animals and from many other organisms microorganisms too for this reason degenerate primers are also used when primer design is based on the protein sequences if you know the protein sequences of uh, some organism and the, uh, uh, their gene sequence is unknown you can easily f uh, use the degenerate primer to know the sequence of that gene as the specific sequence of the codons are not known is it clear so you can use uh, the degenerate primers uh, if you know the protein sequences of that and uh, if you uh, collect the protein from different organisms and that protein is similar in all that organism but the sequence is unknown you can use the degenerate primers okay therefore primer sequence corresponding to the amino acid just here I'm giving you an example of the isoleucine that isoleucine this is an amino acid and that amino acid uh, might be ATH the codon for the isoleucine is ATH where A is for adenine and T for thiamine but here the H is used for adenine thiamine and cytosine is it clear so according to the genetic code for each codon using the IUPAC samples for the degenerate basis there are some uh, IUPAC uh, samples for uh, degenerate basis I will share with you is it clear so degenerate primers may not perfectly hybridize with the target sequence which can uh, greatly reduce the specificity of the PCR amplification and the primer uh, degenerate primers used in the degenerate PCR degenerate primers are widely used and extremely useful in the field of the microbial ecology 
okay here i am sharing some codes uh, for the for creating your uh, degenerate uh, primers here m stand for what a and c if you are using the m in your degenerate uh, primer that m is for what for a and c similarly r for a and g mean adenine and guanine and w for adenine and thymine s for uh, cytosine and guanine must note all these codes uh, if you want to ge uh, generate your own uh, degenerate primers y for cytosine and thymine k for guanine and thymine v for adenine cytosine guanine h for adenine cytosine thymine is it clear d for adenine guanine thymine b for cytosine guanine and thymine and n for adenine cytosine guanine thymine you can memorize it and if you don't want to do this then you must keep this uh, chart with you uh, this table for with you uh, for creating your degenerate primers okay now i am giving you some examples of the degenerate primer you can see here this is the degenerate primer and this is the sequence which we want to uh, amplify and uh, we are uh, not sure about the sequence of that gene because uh, uh, in simple word that uh, sequence is unknown is it clear now that sequence and uh, you want to know that because the this sequence synthesize the pro same protein in different um, organism is it clear that sequence uh, with little bit changes now this degenerate primer contain the y because we are not sure that uh, that uh, there will be the t there will be c there will so we create such primer that with y and y can bind with or pair up with uh, or complementary to t and c is it clear now here the m you can use the m that m is able to bind with the adenine and cytosine here the w and w with a and t here the y again y with t and c and y here with g and a don't be confused about that because c com uh, complementary to g and t complementary to a so y can also pair up with g and a is it clear so k with the c and a so these are the degenerate primers you can create the degenerate in that way uh, in order to know the unknown sequence of that gene for the specific uh, protein if you are not uh, sure and if you don't know the sequence of that is it clear okay now what is universal i hope so the concept about the degenerate primer will be clear, clear upon you people now universal primers um, universal, universal primer is a sequence used for the amplification of the similar gene that related to a specific genus that were like the um, like that of the degenerate but here the similar gene that related to a specific genus specific from the specific genus. like here i'm giving you example in bacteria we needed to amplify ribosomal rna for example to amplify the enterobacteriaceae gene enterobacteriaceae is the family of is a class of the bacteria uh, and from that class we want to know the uh, different species so we use the uh, 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 universal primer to know the sequences for the ribosomal rna is it clear by using the universal primer so for example to amplify the interior bacteria c gene we need universal prime for it that we all species of the interior bacteria are amplified is, is it clear like escherichia salmonella etc okay now universal primers are complementary to a nucleotide sequence that are very common in a particular set of the dna molecule and cloning vectors thus they are able to bind a variety of dna templates because same must be same genus different species from that genus you can easily find out by using the uh, universal one. during sequence of primers are nil to the denatured dna template to provide an initiation site for the elongation of the new dna molecule 
primers can either be specific to a particular DNA nucleotide sequence or they can be universal. Is it clear? So universal primers for the same genus uh, containing different species, but the degenerate primer can be used for any genus, for any species, uh, but the uh, Sequence protein sequence like you can say that uh, is the same like uh, same protein like collagen uh, uh, just example I'm giving you that uh, you want to uh, know the sequence from the dog you want to know the sequence from the cat you want to know the sequence from the human from any other species from any other plant from any other many uh, proteins uh, just I'm giving you an example that you can use your degenerate primers and you can easily find out the um, sequence of an unknown uh, uh, gene uh, for that particular protein so i hope so the lecture will be clear upon you people if you still have any questions share with me if you have any other information related to the universal primary dna primary, uh, also share with me i will be back inshallah soon thank you very much till then allah Hafiz.